There are a few creatures surrounded by more mystery, wonder and fascination than unicorns. Some say they existed and then died out. Others insist unicorns are nothing more than a myth, a creation of human imagination. So what exactly is the truth? Did unicorns once walk the planet? Well, kind of. Back in 2016, the scientific world was abuzz with the discovery of a fossilized remain found in Siberia. According to a study published last month in the American Journal of Applied Science, a species called Elasmotherium sibiricum, the Siberian unicorn, went extinct much later than previously thought. Researchers from Tomsk State University believe they've found fossil evidence of a Siberian unicorn prancing around just 29,000 years ago, more than 3,000 years after they were thought to have gone extinct. Granted, what you see above looks more like a rhino than a unicorn, but he does have one heck of a horn sprouting from his head which makes him a form of unicorn. As Ancient Origins notes, the Siberian unicorn was a massive animal. The E. Sibiricum was the size of a mammoth covered in hair and is thought to have had a large horn protruding from its forehead, hence the title Siberian unicorn. According to early estimated descriptions the beast stood around 2 meters tall and 4.5 meters long and weighed an impressive 4 tons. For hundreds of years, the only evidence to prove that such a creature existed was a jawbone unearthed in 1808 by John Fisher von Welding, the director perpetual of the Natural History Museum at Moscow University. This allowed for the species to be named. The search for more proof took place in vain until March of 2016, when an entire fossilized skull was found. In March 2016, a beautifully preserved skull was found in the Pavlodar region of Kazakhstan, proving that the animal lived until the Pleistocene era, some 29,000 years ago, instead of the previously held belief that they had died out 350,000 years ago. Based on the size and condition of the skull, it has been suggested that it was a very old male, but it is uncertain how the beast died. Throughout history, in nearly every culture, the idea of unicorns has existed. Legends of the unicorn or a beast with a single horn have been arraigned for millennia in China and Eastern Europe. The Chinese Keelin, referring to some sort of beast, was translated into Turkish, Mongolic languages and law while the writers in all these languages did not know how to describe the beast. One common theme was the single horn along with their vast stature. And it appears that the Siberian unicorn may well have been the creature that piqued the interest of mankind over the centuries. In 1866, Vasily Radlov was told about a legend among the Yakut people of Siberia of a huge black bull that had been felled by a single spear. The creature was said to be so massive that its body had to be transported on a sled and there are similar legends in the area which include a large white or blue woolly bull that had a horn protruding from its forehead. In Russia, ballads 
were written about the Siberian unicorn. From medieval northern Russia comes a collective of bollards called Golubinea Nigger or the Book of the Dove, coming from Zoroastrianism but with Christian overtones. These ballads show a righteous unicorn battling a lion, representing lies. The unicorn of these tales lived in a holy mountain, and it was believed to be the mother and father of all animals. This creature saved the world from drought by digging springs of pure and clean water with its horn. At night, it wandered the plains and forged a path with that very same horn. The same creature also makes an appearance in other religious texts, but usually in a symbolic fashion instead of as a real entity. The Arabo Persian word for unicorn actually conflates unicorn and rhinoceros. Look into the rhinoceros as a bringer of truth and good in the world. In Christianity, the single horn is seen as a symbol of monotheism. Since we have fossil evidence that proves a large beast with a single horn was indeed real, that begs the question, what happened to these creatures? Unfortunately, answers to that question are as shrouded in mystery as unicorns themselves. Residue findings show a long habitation of these ancient rhinos in the safe east of the West Siberian Plain. However, there is no clear reason why the final Siberian unicorns died out. Researchers have been looking into this specific environmental factors that may have caused the extinction of this species, as it may lead to answers to the extinction facing various species today. More research and more discoveries are necessary if we are to ever fully understand and appreciate the one unicorn that did likely make an appearance on Earth. Over the years, the stories have clearly been changed and altered in such a way that we have always thought unicorns to be horse-like creatures with a single horn on top of their head. But with what researchers have discovered, I believe it is fair to say that the unicorns we have always pictured most definitely resemble a rhinoceros more than a horse. Nobody will truly know what this unknown species actually looks like, but with such a well-preserved fossil being found with a single horn on the top of its head, it's most certainly part of the unicorn family. We hope with all the information provided in this video, gives you a better understanding of what a possible unicorn actually looked like. Please also remember, if you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing and if you know someone who may like the video, please share it with them.